I'm uh, over here at 1625 Kingston Drive. Uh, then we have uh, Pecan next after this. Uh, real quick here, this one, they're at 599, three beds, two baths, 1,288 square feet. So a little bit smaller than I know the range uh, we had talked about, but floor plan's good. So really that's what matters most. You have something that's like 12 and feels bigger than something that's maybe 14 if the floor plan's all jacked up. Uh, obviously it has a pool out there, the kind of decking around it. It's really nice. I'm not seeing any major red flags, any like major cracking or anything, which is be the first thing I always look for uh, when there's a pool. Especially the further out east we get, you get, tend to get a little more settling. Uh, but I'm standing here in the entryway. Uh, so right off the entry, you head left where you have dining room here. They have like this little table set up here, but this is ample space for uh, like a big six. You might be able to do a six top with like the leaflet, you probably squeeze it in, but I would leave the leaf out uh, the majority of the time. Kitchen here, I'll tell you, we have new boxes on this little added space, and then the original boxes over here. So it's just white tile, some of them were cracked, so you're gonna wanna upgrade this over time. You have that recessed uh, the lighting, which I'm seeing everyone kind of rip that out and then you can lights up in there. It makes it feel a lot bigger in here. While we're here, let's head into the garage. It's pretty cool. He's got like a full on machine shop in here, like a CNC machine and all that good stuff, uh, which obviously they'll be taking, but I thought it was pretty neat. Washer dryer is out here in the garage and you may, may not be able to see it there in the corner. Uh, they have a tankless water heater system here. So that's pretty cool, they're super efficient. Uh, size wise, it's actually pretty wide. You've got these, oh, sorry, these built-ins over here. Uh, sweet, it's like these loads too. Um, and it's probably about two feet on the other side, so pretty wide. This one, I'd say in general, it's, you can move in, and maybe a little rough around the edges, a couple things you'd want to fix, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Uh, you have these hardwood floors out here, they look in pretty good shape. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that's totally jacked up, I know a lot of these don't get totally scratched. You have a couple scratches here, but all in all, pretty minor considering. Uh, obviously, slide her out to the pool. Living room's a good size, actually, and you've got a few options of things you can do and how you want to orient this. Uh, they set up the furniture and everything, so I like having options. Can lighting uh, out here. This light's not working, but that's something small. So, this is the second bathroom. Basic, you know, not really upgraded, but that's. A lot of what we're seeing, just like a little one piece shower liner in there. This is the third bedroom. Obviously, this one has a slider off to the back as well. And it does have AC too, which is on, which I'm very thankful for because it's hot today. Second bedroom. And you have all of these, so they're the aluminum, uh, aluminum trim, aluminum frame windows. It doesn't look like they're double pane. So that may be something over time you want to look at upgrading. And then here's the master bedroom, top to front, which is nice, especially having younger ones. I tend to like to have them towards the back so they're not at the street. You've got a good amount of closet space. You have that wall there, and then this little closet with shelving here. So whether that be shoes, whatever you guys want. And then the master bath. This window is uh, actually off the front. You'll see kind of where the front door is. Again, basic, not really upgraded. 
a walk-in shower a little bit smaller. Uh, you'd probably extend that if you dumped this closet. But options, options over time. You don't have to do anything right away. More hallway storage. got a tile roof on this one, which is nice, so I'm not seeing any like stains or anything on the ceiling, so you shouldn't have to worry about uh, any leaks or any roof that are roof related. They have like a little bit of cracking through here, but they're not so wide or, let's see if I can do this, holding this up, or like, look at me, kind of offset like this. That's where you get problems. If they're level and not too wide, Mostly just settling out here. Yeah, the pool pool looks in great shape. I'm not seeing, like I said, cracking through anything, not through any of the surface. We have a little hairline cracks here, but it stops at the coping. It doesn't travel all the way to the edge of the pool. This is what I'm always looking for. And you've got all these little holes around too, so you could put a cover that kind of just goes into those. Uh, that way, the pool is secure. And that's around that side. But all in all, for five ninety nine, you get a lot here, which is nice. And I'm not, I'm not seeing anything like major repairs that you have to do. Cosmetics, definitely, but you know that's kind of what we're looking at uh, around six six fifty. All right. I'll uh, send this one over. I'm going to run over to Can next.